Hey guys, it's Manpreet here again. Um, we're going to be doing another problem involving a strong acid, strong base titration. So this one says, determine the pH at each of the points in the titration of 10 milliliters of 0 0.05 molars barium hydroxide with 0 0.1 molars of nitric acid. So, first thing is to establish if the acid and base are strong or weak. We know that both of these are, there's a strong base and a strong acid. And so therefore, the net ionic equation of a strong acid, strong base will always be H plus OH minus yields water, okay? So let's start with first question. It says, find the pH when no nitric acid is added. So then all you have to do is basically look at the um, initial molarity of the barium hydroxide base. So we have 0 0.05 molars of barium hydroxide. So now we have to determine what's the molarity of the hydroxide. Now a common mistake that most people might write is that we have 0 0.05 molars of hydrox um, hydroxide um, since this is a strong acid and it does um, fully ionize. However, you have to note that there's two of them. So therefore, it's going to be 2 times 0 0.05 molarity. So Therefore, we have 0 0.1 molars of the base initially. And then this is um, also OH minus, so keep that in mind. So pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So therefore, pOH is equal to 0.1 molars, which we will get as simply 1. And that's going to be the pOH. So then the pH is basically 14 minus 1, which is 13. So that's the pH when no nitric acid is added. Okay. So the next one says when five milliliters of nitric acid is added. So we do have for the um, OH minus, we have 10 milliliters, okay? And molarity, we mentioned that we had 0.1. Um, therefore, we have one millimoles of OH minus, okay? So for the um, H plus, for the, from the nitric acid, we basically multiply 5 milliliters times 0.1 molars, which gives us 0.5 millimoles and keep these in millimoles that'll be easier later on so let me write the net ionic equation okay so we have initial the change and we have the final initial for h plus we have 0.5 millimoles and for the hydroxide we have one millimole Water, we don't care about. So then we just subtract whichever one is the lesser one. Okay, so we get zero and we get 0 0.5 millimoles left of the hydroxide. Okay, so now that we have 0.5 millimoles left of the um hydroxide, we basically need to convert this to pOH and use that to solve for pH because we're looking for pH. So you always have to remember that you're looking for pH. So make sure to convert everything over. Um, and for, we know that molarity is going to be equal to millimoles over milliliters. Okay. And so we know 0.5 millimoles. Milliliters is just the total volume. And 
We know for this problem, for total volume, it's just 5 milliliters of the acid, 10 milliliters of the base. So it's just 10 plus 5, which is 15 milliliters total volume. So molarity of the hydroxide will equal 0.5 over 15. is 0 0.033 molars of OH minus. So then the pOH is going to equal negative log of that. And therefore pOH is equal to approximately 1.48. And pH is just 14 minus 1.48, which is equal to 12.52. Okay, so that will be our pH. So now for C, it says when 10 milliliters of nitric acid are, is added. Okay, so we already know that we have this should be one molar. 0.1, there we go, 0.1. Sorry about that. Okay, so 10 milliliters and 0.1 molars. So we know that we already have one millimoles of the OH minus, okay? So the for the nitric acid, we have 10 milliliters. It's because it says 10 milliliters of 0.1 molars. Okay, and that will give us one millimole as well. Okay, now remember that when the concentration of the base is equal to the concentration of the acid, we have reached the equivalence point. And since this is a strong acid, strong base titration, a good thing about that is that the, the pH at the equivalence point for these kind of titrations is always seven, okay? So and that's because all that's left in the solution is the salt. So therefore the pH is gonna be seven, okay? And now for the last one, it says when 15 milliliters of nitric acid is added, okay? So we know that for the base, we have one millimole, okay? So now we added 15 millimoles or 15 milliliters, sorry, of 0.1 molar of the acid, which will give us 1.5 millimoles of H plus, okay? So let's write our net ionic equation again. Okay, so initial, the change, and the final. So initial for H plus, we have 1.5 millimoles, and for OH minus, we have one millimole, okay? So now, instead of having an excess of OH minus, we're gonna have an excess of H plus, okay? So now we have 0.5 millimoles of the acid. So 0.5 millimoles of H plus, we need to find the pH, correct? So the pH is just a negative log of the concentration of the H+. So now we don't have to involve pOH because we've used up our hydroxide, okay? So for molarity of H+, it's just 0.5 millimoles over the milliliters. Now the milliliters, okay, we said is total volume. And for this problem, it'll just be... 10 milliliters of the um, hydroxide that we've always had, and now 15 milliliters of the acid. So it's just 10 plus 15, which is 25 milliliters, okay? So therefore we put 25 milliliters. So the molarity is 0 0.02 molars of H plus, okay? So then pH is just equal to the negative log of H plus, which is equal to negative log of 0 0.02 molars. 
Therefore, pH is equal to 1.70. Okay, so that's it for that problem. Um, and another way to figure out if you're doing this problem correctly is to first note that you're adding acid to the base, okay? And let's look at our pHs. It went from 13 initially because there was a, only base in there, so it should be a high pH since that means it's basic. It went from 13 to 12.52, so it decreased because you were adding acid, it went to seven, and landed all the way to um, a pH of 1.7, which um, is what's supposed to happen since you're adding the acid in the titration and therefore when you add acid, the pH will decrease, which is what we encountered in this problem. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, go ahead and visit the ChemWiki website that I'll link below if you need any more help and have a great day. Thanks.